essentially brown paint is made from turquoise, magenta, and yellow. And brown paint consists of taking two complementary colors. So for I go in and mix these two together and I make purple. Okay, so I have a nice crisp purple. Then I'm going to take small amounts of that purple and I'm going to slowly add it to my yellow. And you can see that as I add, I am getting a brown. I have a light brown right now, and then if I wanted to keep adding the purple, I can have a dark brown. Now theoretically, if I mixed both of these all together, I would consistently get some sort of brown, but it's not always that easy. So I recommend doing what I'm doing, which is working in small batches. So I could take a little bit more purple, and then pull in a little bit more yellow, and I just slowly mix I kind of like, as a swirl, bring everything in until I fully have my color. Okay, another option is to start with green. And it's one of those things where some people just find it easier starting with one base color. Now the opposite of green, once I get my pull, my green. Now the advantage of this method is that I can I tend to be able to mix faster. So if I start with green, because I the whole thing is kind of green, so you'll see here. And then I'm going to slowly add my magenta, and again I'm going to work in small little batches. And as I pull the brown, here I'm getting the brown, then I could just slowly keep going. One mistake that students make, oh Miss Russ, you're kind of getting obsessed with turning this all to brown. Brown, 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 brown. I added too magenta too quick. And so this is a very good lesson. <laughs> Don't dive in too deep in the pool. You might drown. There my brown comes back. Okay, now don't forget these browns that you get, you can always add a teeny bit of black or a teeny bit of white if they feel too light or too dark. Okay, one mistake that students make is theoretically, if you have one dot turquoise, which I happen to stick my paper in, you have one dot magenta, and then you have four or five dots worth of yellow. You should be able to slide all of this together and get brown. But we're gonna find out if, if, if what I say is true. Mix. Okay, when you do this, you can get something that looks close to brown. Do you see how that looks close to brown? But the problem is, is that because I mixed all of these together, it takes a really experienced eye to look at this and say, oh, that's too orange. The opposite of orange is blue, so I need to add more turquoise to turn this to a brown. Now we, there'll be a posted color wheel in the classroom, but really you have so much more control. Oh, let's see if we can get my brown. Now see, I look at that and I see too much. Um, it's almost like a bluish purple, so I think I need a little bit more magenta. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, there it goes. Now we're going to brown. The benefit of these two ways is that you always know what you need to add more of. If it looks too yellow, I know my only option is to add more purple. If it looks too purple, I know my only option is to add more yellow. Same here. I can only go one or the other. But if I try and do all three, it means that all three could be an option. And even I, the art teacher, had to take some time here before I fully pulled to a brown.